Okay, last problem I'm going to do here. I'm going to start, oh, you guessed it, on the left. You always have to start on the left? No, that's just how I'm doing it. So I'm going to use one of my identities, that cotangent squared of theta is the cosecant squared of theta minus 1. Okay, and nothing has happened in the denominator. My right-hand side is going to stay the same. Okay. So we've got that. Again, notice what you need to get to. You need to get a 1 minus sine of theta over a sine of theta from this. So if I'm looking at this, remember one of the tricks I talked about in my first video for this section is factoring. So this would factor into the cosecant of theta minus 1 and the cosecant of theta plus 1. All divided by nothing changed in the denominator. 1 plus cosecant of theta. Nothing on the right changed. Okay, so those guys cancel out. I left with the cosecant of theta minus 1 equals 1 minus sine of theta over sine of theta. So how are we going to get sine into this? Well, remember, cosecant is 1 over the sine of theta. So I can show that in a step. Remember when you're doing these proofs and verifications, you, you can't just make big leaps of faith. You need to show out your work here. So if I were to get a common denominator between these two, your common denominator is sine of theta. So I'll get 1 minus, this will become sine of theta over sine of theta, which is what we needed to get. You're done.